Hi everybody, it's Paula from the Real Polish Phonetic Blog and Jewelry by RPF. Thank you for stopping by my little corner of YouTube and spending a little bit of your day with me today. I do appreciate you being here. Today um, I got some nail mail from Cirque Colors, so we're going to talk about Cirque Colors a little bit. Um, I think they started in about 2012 or so, and um, I bought my first one in 2013, and then I bought some in 2015 through 2018, and then I kind of just quit buying them. I don't know why, it's just some unknown reason I hadn't bought any since 2018. Um, I did get one for Christmas in 2022, so, um, but yeah, I hadn't bought any for such a long time, and so I saw an ad either on Facebook or Instagram from them that they had a lucky bag, which is um, just a mystery bag of older uh, clearanced items that they'd had. It says it's valued from sixty to eighty dollars, or sixty to one hundred dollars, and it costs twenty five dollars. And so um, I bought two of them so I could get to free shipping, and I got them in the mail today. So I am going to open my package. Haven't even opened it yet. Here it is, Cirque Colors. And uh, so we will open this up and see what's inside my two lucky bags from Cirque Colors. All right, just a little Cirque Colors history. Um, well, first, what's on my hands. So um, as usual, I'd like to show you what's on my hands in case you see and wonder what it is. Today, I have this pretty green flaky balm from Cuticula, I think that's how you say it. That's how I say it, Cuticula. And this one is called Battle of the Boxes uh, from January 2024 Polished Gamers Box. And um, this is just, uh, I put this on for St. Patrick's Day, which is coming up, had to wear a green. Uh, this is just a really pretty uh, green with, um, there's a couple different colors of green it looks like I didn't look up the official description but there's kind of like a turquoise flake in there and there's some black flakes in there and it build it um, built up beautifully this is three thin coats this finger here has four because I smudged it of course I usually can't get through a manicure without smudging a little something so I put on a fourth coat but I, I use very thin coats so um, built up really nicely uh, they lay very smooth, so you don't really need a glitter-grabbing uh, top coat. Very smooth. Have it on both of my hands. And so, yep, yeah, that is what's on my nails. And uh, let's talk a little history of Cirque Colors from what I know. I don't know a whole lot about them, but I do know if they started in 2012. I believe that's when it was. It doesn't say on their website when they started. Um, so I looked up some old um, bloggers. You know the old favorite Scrangy. I looked at her um, blog up to see when she started posting about them and she started I believe in 2012 so I'm kind of assuming that's about the time that they started. So their first bottle, they've had a few um, iterations of labels throughout the years and their first bottles looked like this with their label this kind of gothic C and it's um, put right on the corner of the bottle, which I always thought was so unique and just kind of really, you know, Indies kind of exploded in um, 2012 and uh, 2011, 2012. And um, a lot of the indie brands, when they first started out, they just had like a white label that they hand wrote their brand name on and hand wrote, you know, the name of the polish on. So when Cirque came out with these kind of, um, I mean, it's just a plain old sticker with a C, but just the way that they put it at an angle on the bottle, I just thought was really unique and kind of forward thinking for the time. And um, so I picked out just two of those I had. I own about 47 cert colors, according to my spreadsheet, not including what I get in the mail today. But um, so these two were some of the first ones I bought. This was Ophelia and Dark Horse. And then they went from this um, label, they changed it up and did the same C, but just centered it. And this is actually, I think this is actually a screen printed bottle. I don't know if they ever had that in stickers or not. And then they started coming in boxes. Um, 
working in black boxes for a little while. And so these are these two that I have that look like this. And these, just if you're wondering, this one doesn't have a name label. This one is Hatch, according to the box. It says Hatch and Storm King. So then they went from their bottles looking like this with the kind of gothic C for Cirque. And they um, just went to kind of a plain, there may have been one other iteration in here because like I said, I haven't bought any since 2018. This is the one I got in 2022. Um, so now they're coming in white boxes. Let's say Cirque colors. This is Neo, which is the black to red multi-chrome. My friend who gave this to me is not really into nail polish at all. And she did so great because I love these red to black um, duochrome. So this is Neo. This is the newest one that I part or that I received as a gift in 2022. And then this one here is a, just another one that I pulled out of my stash. This is uh, Coronation, which is a pretty high sought after one. This one actually has the pigment called Unicorn Pea, which is that pretty red, uh, green, gold shifting um, uh, pigment or uh, shimmer. So that is what the bottles have looked like over the years. And uh, let's just jump right in and open up this box that I got and see what is in here. So like I said, I got two lucky bags. It doesn't really say how many items are going to come in any either of the bags, just that it's valued at $60 to $100. So I thought I would take a chance, Let's see what we get. It comes, uh, I can't get that under my camera, but it comes very well packaged. Everything is in brown paper because they do try to, um, Cirque Colors tries to limit the, you know, their um, footprint on the earth by not using a lot of plastic. And um, let's see, I think that's everything. So everything comes in brown paper instead of plastic bags, which is pretty nice. Ooh, those look pretty. Look how bright those. Yeah, these two. That looks like something special in this special little box here. We'll look closer at all these. And there's another one like that. Oh, we've got a couple other kind of boxes here. And, all right, we got quite a lot of stuff here. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten polishes for one hundred dollars shipped, or um, fifty dollars shipped. I'm sorry. So I got ten polishes for fifty dollars, including shipping, because I fifty dollars I think is their shipping threshold. So let us take a peek and see what all I got here. We'll start with the plain boxes here. Find my scissors. So this one is called Vanilla Bean. And so all of you out there watching, if polishes come in boxes like this, do you usually keep the polishes in the boxes or do you get rid of the boxes and just keep the polish um, as is? I, I do both. I, it varies. I usually, I've started getting rid of the boxes rather than keeping them. I was keeping them in case I ever de-stashed any, but then I had like a humongous tub full of boxes with names on it. And so if I ever, you know, de-stashed vanilla bean, I would have to search for hours trying to find the correct box. So I usually just take them out of the box now and recycle the boxes. <laughs> but this is vanilla bean. It looks like a very soft yellow with maybe some black uh, little shimmer bits in there or little glitter bits, I should say. Oh, this one's called Hatch. I already have Hatch. That was one of them that I showed you from earlier. 
So this one is a duplicate from me, but that's okay. The bottle is different. Here's the two, and it has the name on the bottom, which this one doesn't, so <laughs> that's a good thing, but otherwise they do look very similar. And so this is just a, like a white with kind of a speckled look with the white with the black uh, glitter. And then there's some twinkly shimmer in there too. And then we've got these three bright ones. This one is called Cream. C period, R period, E period, A period, M period. I don't know if that stands for something. The way she has it printed out there. This one, look at that, very bright neon green cream. And then we've got Game Over. And this one. Ooh, wow, that is searingly bright. Beautiful. It's kind of a red, uh, neon red. Gorgeous. And then we've got, this one is called Shopaholic. And it looks like a beautiful neon pink. This looks like a jelly. Possibly, maybe all three of those are. And then we got these kind of special ones. I got this one, it says City Harvest. Rescuing food for New York City. It's in support of that. It's called Harvest Time. And this one. Ooh, that's pretty. This is um, Harvest Time. And it's a beautiful green with, looks like gold uh, reflective glitter. Very pretty. And then we have these two that say Surf Colors and MXM Tune. I'm not sure if I should know what that is, but I don't. So, this one is called Introverde. And it is. Oh, a pretty, um, like a sea foamy green with this really strong purple gold shimmer. That looks beautiful, like that. And then this one is called uh, Fuyu Jelly. I don't know how to say that, but. <laughs> And this one is an orange. This one's a jelly formulation too. You can tell jellies usually because you can really see, you know, they're a little bit more translucent. So you can really see the bubble kind of moving around there. So I don't know how you say that, but here's what that one's called. Pretty kind of a, um, a cantaloupe sort of a color, I would say. And then I've got these two pretty boxes here. These say uh, Cirque Colors and Kelly Marissa, who is another uh, vlogger. I never, I did actually look at these. I watched her video when she debuted them. It was a collaboration that Cirque did with her. And I did actually put them in my cart and I thought about purchasing them and then I just never did. So um, happy to get these two. This one's called Ethel. And it's another green with uh, purple and gold shimmer. Gorgeous. Just to show you next to this one, it's a bit darker. And uh, yeah, I like that. And the last one I got here was called 777. This um, collection, I believe, uh, the collaboration with Kelly was, um, insp ins the inspiration was Las Vegas. I think maybe Kelly had moved there. I'm, I don't really know. But, um, so 777 obviously is lucky numbers. 
and um, I don't know what ethyl would mean, but anyway, so this one's 777, and this is a red with gold shimmer and flakes. Very, very pretty. So I'm really happy with this. I did get one polish that I already had, but uh, yeah, that's all right. It's a good one. So um, maybe I will go ahead and swatch these really quick. I did bring a swatch wheel down. Let's see. This one was uh, Vanilla Bean. Just take a look, see how these look on the swatch wheel. Goes on really nice. It's a very soft, pale yellow with um, black little glitter bits. There it is in one coat. And then we have Hatch which is similar to that one. It has a white base with the glitter, the black little glitter. And this one has a little bit of added shimmer, which the first one did not have. There's that. And that was Hatch. Then we get into the three neons. This one was Cream. So bright. Cirque has nice brushes. They're nice rounded paddle brushes. Very easy to work with. That went on beautifully. Very nice. And then we went to this searing, eye searing neon red, game over. And, oh, this will be going on my toes sometime this summer. That's very bright and very beautiful and just a fantastic formula. And then we've got the bright pink Shopaholic. Goes on really nicely. Nice bright pink. Really pretty. And then we have this one, Harvest Time, which looked like a um, something uh, that she collaborated with for uh, like a food bank kind of a thing in New York, which is where she is. Cirque Colors is headquartered in New York. It's a very pretty kind of apple green with golden um, reflective glitter. And then we went to Intro Verde. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's pretty kind of a sea foam minty green with a really strong shifting shimmer. Just even in one coat, I can see the purple and the gold shifts. It's very pale so far in that first coat, but really nice. Then we had this one. If he, I don't even know, I'm not gonna try. <clears throat> and this looks like a kind of an apricot or a cantaloupe jelly formula. Went on very nicely. And then we go into the two collaborations with Kelly Marissa. Ethel. very pretty um like a grass green maybe and again i can see the shimmer shifting in it 
second coat will probably help bring out that shimmer. And then we had 777 also, the Kelly collaboration. Yeah, this is kind of like a rusty red with gold um, shimmer and or maybe just small glitter and then some bigger gold flakes. So let's see, let's go through and do a second coat real quick. We've got, what was this one? Vanilla bean. Nice pale yellow with the black glitter. Oops, just got my finger in that one or my hand. So that is excellent formula for being such a pale color. There's vanilla bean, two coats. I don't see any streaking or anything like that. And then we went to hatch. which is similar to vanilla bean, but a white has a little bit more black um, flakes. And it also has the additional um, shimmer. I can see it in the bottle. Let's see, I'm not really seeing it on the nail, but maybe once it dries, it would be a little easier. There's Hatch in two coats, another excellent formula. Then we've got these neons, and um, this one dried a little bit to a satin finish. Um, it's probably not fully, fully dried, but it's kind of a satiny finish. And put this on a second coat. Excellent. So, so bright, called Cream. Then this neon red. Oh, this one was called Game Over. This one also dried to a kind of a matte satin finish. This one looks a little more matte than the green one did. So bright. Love it. Love, love, love. So that was game over in two coats. And then we had Shopaholic. Some bright pink. All three of those were kind of more of like a Crelly kind of a formula, jelly to Crelly. And this one was Shopaholic in two coats. Excellent formula, nice coverage. And then we had Harvest Time. It's kind of grassy green. Yeah, that deepened up that color quite a lot and brings out that reflective glitter, if you can see that. It's very pretty. And that was harvest time. Then we go to intro verde. I don't know if you can see, just the bottle looking down on it is so pretty with the shimmer. It's very purple, and then if you just sort of move, it goes to kind of a gold, a green. Sort of a deep sea foam kind of a color with that shifting shimmer. I don't know. I can definitely see it in person as I just move this up just ever so slightly. It's gold at the tip and purple at the bottom. It has all these little 
little bitty micro glitter, kind of like holographic micro glitter maybe, just twinkling lots of different colors, the shimmer. Love this one. This was Intro Verde in two coats, beautiful. Then we have this, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have this one. <clears throat> and it is apricot kind of a cantaloupe orangey color. This also is deepening, deepening up that color in the second coat. Put it on a little thicker. Very nice. That one's a jelly formula. Nice and squishy. And then the two Kelly Marissa's um, Ethel. Looks like this one may also have a little reflective glitter, possibly. I'm not sure. It's very pretty though. This is another one if you can see just from the top down, it's just, you can see the purple and the gold and the green shimmer. Very pretty. That one's Ethel. Let's see. Definitely see a lot of shifts in that one in the shimmer in person. I don't know if you were getting them on the camera. And the last one that I got in my two lucky bags from Cirque Colors, was 777, 777, and like a rusty red, I messed this one up, sorry. Yeah, it's like a rusty red with just a lot of gold shimmer and glitter and flakes. So pretty. Seven, seven, seven. All right, so we have vanilla bean, hatch, um, cream, so bright, uh, game over, shopaholic, harvest time. This one was intro verde. And the one that I don't know the name of. And um, what was this one? Ethel. Ethel. And 777. Yeah, I'm really happy with my two lucky bags from Cirque Colors. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around and we will finish up. All right. That was my... Um, 10 polishes in two lucky bags. Uh, they were $25 each, so $50 with free shipping from Cirque Colors and just a mystery bag of any number of items and uh, just valued at $60 to $100 each for $25, so you can't hardly go wrong. And I hadn't bought any Cirque Colors for a long time, so I did end up with one dupe still, but it's a good one, Hatch. I like that polish, so I am okay with that. And here they all are on the swatch wheel. What do you think? What do you think of uh, Cirque Colors? What do you think of buying mystery bags? Are you a fan of those, or do you like to know what you're going to get before you lay out your money? I like both. I do like being surprised, and um, especially if I don't think there's a high probability of me getting dupes because like I said, I had not bought any Cirque Colors for almost five years. So I was pretty safe not getting any dupes even though I did get the one, uh, this one here, Hatch, but that's okay. So let me know in the comments what you think of the polishes I received, what you think of Cirque Colors, what do you think of mystery bags or boxes? What do you think of 
uh, the boxes that nail polish comes in sometimes? Do you keep that or do you throw those away? Or not throw them away, don't do that, but you can recycle them. Uh, just let me know what's ever on your mind in the comments. I would love to hear from you and interact with you a little bit that way. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have for you today. So thank you so much for stopping by. I do want to say I have just this week um, got 400 subscribers. I'm very excited for that. Thank you all for uh, following along and subscribing and liking and commenting. Love it. But um, until next time, I will say goodbye for now.